This is a really important time because as a country, we are currently undergoing a mass political awakening. We're forced to grapple with the role of police because, you know, when you see video after video after video of police brutality, you can't just sit there idly by in ignorant bliss, right? Now that white people are finally privy to the knowledge that black Americans have had for centuries about the police, now we're forced to grapple with the role of police in our society and how we're going to transform the current system because obviously the status quo isn't working. And because we live in a capitalist society, large multinational corporations are forced to adapt to societal changes because if they don't, they go out of business. They lose money. I mean, could you imagine if Nike, for example, supported segregation in 2020? It's almost unthinkable, right? Because they don't want to lose that money. It's difficult for Chick-fil-A to continue to be vehemently anti-gay in this current political era because that's not socially acceptable. So large corporations are forced to adapt if they want to be relevant, right? Because if you don't adapt to social changes in a capitalist system, you do lose money. And Lego is one company who is deciding to uh, at least read the room a little bit because they've decided to stop marketing their Lego White House set as well as their Lego City Police sets because during a time of worldwide protests against police brutality, you know, toys that glorify police and subsequently brainwash children arguably into thinking that they're forces for good in society, you know, it might be a little bit inappropriate right now. So as a result, this is a private company who said to all retailers don't you know market these sets you can still sell them right you can sell the police sets uh, but don't market them don't advertise them in your weekly store ads um, and this is something that I think they should do. They should reevaluate these toys uh, because I think that this is a tool to brainwash children. It's something that we have to think about, right? We have to think about the way that culture, you know, uh, helps to reinforce what we've been taught about the political institutions that we've all come to know. Uh, but putting all that aside, Stuart Varney of Fox News reacted to the news that Lego would be suspending marketing for a period of time. And he was absolutely against it. He was appalled and he clutched his pearls as we expected him to. Um, staying on this protest theme, it's infected the toy industry. Lauren, is, am I right in saying that Lego is stopping ads for police kind of Lego uh, characters? And it's White House kit. So Lego sent an email to online companies saying, temporarily out of respect for what's going on across the country stop marketing for about 30 lego sets that have emergency vehicles police cars the white house in those sets you can still sell them don't advertise for them their recommendation uh, legos is also donating four million dollars to organizations that support black children and educating all children about racial inequality. So this is another example of many retailers, many companies, essentially putting their money where their mouth is. They're, they're well, saying we should do more and they're donating money to do more. Yeah, maybe so, but it's sending quite a message to children, isn't it? You may not yep. have toys that are, are police officers. You can't do that. I mean, that's flat out anti-police material. You know, right-wingers, you officially have to stop calling left-wingers snowflakes when you have segments like this. And in case you were wondering, uh, they posted this segment to YouTube and likes, dislikes, as well as comments were disabled because I think he realized that, you know, this is a little bit of a ridiculous overreaction. He said, this is flat out anti-police material. Stuart, it's Legos. It's not that big of a deal. None of this will lead to societal change, nor will it lead to maintaining the status quo. What Lego chooses to do is completely inconsequential to what's happening currently in the country. If they choose to overmarket police Lego sets, not going to make a difference. If they choose to remove all of their police Lego sets from the shelf, not going to make a difference. It doesn't matter. So why would you, you know, uh, use any of your energy to be outraged about this when there are real injustices happening throughout the country? I mean, this is a time where all of us 
should force ourselves to be introspective, to actually feel a little bit uncomfortable thinking about our role and how we prop up and maintain white supremacy, even if we thought we were allies, force ourselves to do better. It's a time where we all should be thinking bigger about what types of transformational changes we want to apply. But I mean, Stuart Varney, he only has one setting, and it is to be offended and defend capitalism at all costs. But hey, if you're going to be a capitalist, it's a private market, right? If Lego, as a private company, decides that they don't want to market police propaganda to children, that's their decision. Do you want the big government to step in and stop them from doing that? I mean, he's not implying that, to be fair. But I just, I don't get why a news uh, organization would spend any time covering Legos. But again, this is Fox News. Uh, back in 2018, we covered how they were outraged because I believe it was a bakery in Denmark. Um, they decided to have gender uh, gingerbread people cookies that were gender neutral. Um, so, I mean, <laughs> you can't really expect this news outlet to uh, not be completely idiotic. But I mean, this is this is ridiculous. This is Legos. And Stuart Varney is clutching his pearls at Legos. Oh, give me a fucking break. Grow up. Focus on things that matter. What Lego chooses to do or not do is not going to have a difference, uh, an impact on our lives. It's not going to make a difference. So just like let it go and stop being such a snowflake.